Welcome back to Vandy Machine. You're watching with Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Kaboom, Kaboom, Super Kaboom, oh yeah. Kaboom, oh yeah, Kaboom, oh yeah. Here we go, here we go. Mainland, it's an island, volcanic island. The tundra volcanic island and the blue lands, the blue lands are always right here. Underground sea? Underground sea, oh my, oh dear. I have offended you again. So I guess this is the end Because everybody knows you're such a snowflake And you're just quite upset at every single thing we said Everybody knows it's all just in your head yeah, yeah. Wasted feeling good when speaking Do you know why you crossed the line When I said that you were mine Going skiing, no hard feelings, since you will not be my girl, this is the end of my own. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the ID Machine, the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy. Just like I mentioned in our previous episode, okay, Dual Lands are definitely going to get reprinted very, very soon in a master set, in a modern horizon set, whatever, okay, it will happen this year because the uh, pre-order sellout of Dominaria Remastered showed that people like reprint sets. People are going to pay money for reprint sets. This sends a signal to Wizards of the Coast. Also, they are no longer afraid of Promissory Estoppel because what happened is during the Magic 30 incident, there were no lawsuits whatsoever. Just people complaining about the price. And you had a, even, even most of the big time investors after Bank of America downgraded Hasbro, they sold all their Power 9, they sold all their cards. And you don't have to actually worry about that. So Wizards is not too worried about Promissory Estoppel anymore. They're gonna do pretty much whatever they want to make money. So we're gonna have a master set, a modern horizon set, whatever new product it is it's like a vintage masters where you can get like uh, pieces of uh, power 9 you can get alpha beta unlimited cards well maybe not power 9 but uh, you might see cards like psionic blast you might see a bunch of uh, old cards like um, banner drain or um, drain power you know classic or two-headed giant of Faris and the dual lands because that's um, a staple that people are looking for in legacy now what will this do for uh, the gaming community? Well, it'll make Legacy more accessible. More people will play Legacy. And who knows? Maybe, maybe we could see a revival of Legacy. Finally. You can go to your local game store and you can finally just play a game of Legacy and just enjoy everything. So, um, yeah, really exciting times this year. Okay. Um... Not too bad for collectors because collectors like me, we don't care what value. I mean, these dual lands, they can go down to like a dollar each and I still won't sell them. I'll just keep them around because I use them in my decks. The Lotus, um, Moxin, they can go down to like 50 cents each and I still won't sell them because I just use them in my decks. Okay? There will eventually come a time when Magic the Gathering will no longer be a collectible but it will be a game again these cards will no longer be investments they will be game pieces that people can play with and will not be ridiculously priced anymore i myself am looking forward to that day and when that day comes man legacy and vintage will come back to life old school players can go to their local game stores Play with the old cards, play with the new cards. It'll be much more fun for everyone. Once again, this is the ID Machine with the Sly Guy signing off right now.